Now here's the deal. We were doing 32 million bucks. We were trying to expand the entire computer department. Every time we tried to expand it, the more senior proprietors who were looking after electrical and furniture said, you guys cannot take any more room because fridges are much more important than computers. This computer division, you guys are just a joke. This is just a fad. So every time we wanted to expand, we couldn't expand. We were actually landlocked in these stores. And the other challenge was is that we actually knew that the lucrative market in computers was not the home market. It was the small business market. And at that stage, if you wanted to buy a computer from Harvey Norman, you had to go through the toaster department. <laughs> not the greatest environment I've ever seen to buy a computer. Then something happened. True story. One of our suppliers rang us up and he said, Tony, you've got to go to the States. I said, why? He says, there is a new phenomena that has just hit the American retail scene. I said, what is it? It's called superstores. Now, we at this stage in Australia, there were no superstores. There were furniture stores, there were supermarkets, there were department stores. But this was a big box category killer retailer. We jump on a plane, we go to, where was it? We go to Los Angeles, we drive two hours south to go to Orange County. We actually, and there's three of us, myself plus two other lead proprietors, okay, and we start to visit these amazing stores, Best Buy, Fries, Staples. Then we saw it. We saw heaven. It was called Comp USA. It was extraordinary. It was unbelievable. Now, we were dressed in suits. Every time we walked into a store, we, this is pre-digital, we tried to take photographs. Every single instance in suits, we actually got chased out into the car park. <laughs> this was seriously just hit the marketplace. There were security guards everywhere just observing what people were doing. So we go back to our hotel room because you know what the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So we said, guys, this is not working. We go back and we dress down. You know what dress down is? Jeans, flannelette shirt. <laughs> and we said to the guys, we can't say we're like from Sydney because Sydney's too confrontational. So we actually had a store and I do apologise for anybody who lives in this region. It just sounds non-threatening, this town. We said we're from Dubbo. All right, we're from Harvey Norman Dubbo, and we're Australian. And I swear to God, we actually went to the first store, and we got, I, I think it was a 31-year-old store manager of this Comp USA. First thing we do is we go up to him, and we just said, we're from Australia. We're from a retailer called Harvey Norman. We got a store in Dubbo. Um, we just wanted to say, this is an amazing store. Now, this was a divine appointment because he loved it. I mean, he loved it. And then we said to him, do you mind, do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Remember we were kicked out all the others? Do you mind? And he goes, no problem, come into my office. We were there for four hours. <laughs> 27 pages of notes. Then we say to him, do you mind if we take a few photos? He said, you don't have to do that. I'll get my people to do the photos for you. <laughs> then, then, we go back on the plane. This is my success. You think, wow, you've done all of this. I've done nothing. <laughs> I go back to the builder on a Monday morning called Noel Sullivan. 
I said, no, come in the office. Here's what I do. Here's the photographs. Build this. <laughs> Our first store opened up at Bennett's Green in Newcastle, followed very rapidly by Harvey Norman at Auburn. We opened up 32 superstores in the next year. And in the next two years, Harvey Norman in computers had 82% market share of every personal computer bought in retail. 82% was bought in a Harvey Norman outlet. Here is the key. If you want to get somewhere really quickly, hang around with people already there. Success leaves seeds. Just got to follow the seeds. That's a real story. That's like, oh, I didn't make that up.